Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel today. This is basically going to be part two of the massive empties videos that I filmed last time and that one was already huge but we had so much left to go through. So today is going to be a continuation of that. We have so many goodies to talk about. Let me give you guys... Let me guys a sneak preview, I guess you could say. I just, I hoarded way too many products and I'm so excited to just kind of get into it and dive right in. Before we do, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all those things. I really appreciate it and it helps my channel out. Also, let me know that you've been enjoying the empties videos and that you want to see more by liking this video and I'll kind of just keep turning them around and making more if I see that a lot of people are enjoying them, of course. And I think, yeah, with that, let's just go ahead and start talking about some products. I think it's it's time. So first off, at the very top, this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. So specifically, the advanced version is the one that I'm obsessed with. I will 100% be repurchasing this with the next Sephora sale. It's one that's very pricey, but if you manage to get a nice big size, like this is actually the uh, medium size, I believe, it will last you forever. Like you could literally go from one Sephora sale to the next Sephora sale because this just really lasts a long time. You don't need to use a lot of product. After you spray this in your, in your hair, it does such a good job at actually cleaning your hair and then you don't find yourself spraying dry shampoo in the next day and the next day. Like, you know what I mean? You're not constantly having to spray dry shampoo. It just actually does a good job cleaning your hair. It refreshes your hair. It doesn't make your hair feel gross in any way. It literally feels like your hair is clean. It has a little bit more volume to it and I just love it. I love it so much. The scent is also nice. It's not obnoxious. It's it's just it's like a nice scent. So and it doesn't conflict with my like other fragrance in my opinion at least. Like I don't feel like it's that that strong, but it's definitely one that I would really recommend if you have an oily scalp and or maybe you're just looking for a really good dry shampoo. But specifically, if you have an oily scalp, if you're somebody that deals with oil and like just kind of really quickly has to wash their hair try this out so that you can actually extend your wash times because using this literally was such a game changer for me it's what allowed me to start really extending my wash times without feeling like i just had a lot of product build up okay next this is from day this is their monsoon moisture milk shampoo and this is one that i loved it smelled so so good oh my god it literally smells so heavenly it's not like overly female or girly it has like a just such a nice like almost almost unisex but not really there's definitely sweetness to this but it's like such a strange scent i can't even describe it which doesn't happen often for me i usually can describe a fragrance but i think it's definitely like a little like has like this cactus like scent to it with like sweetness it's one just go in store go to a sephora smell this if it doesn't smell amazing keep in mind it could have gone bad i had smelled this in store once and it smelled horrible but i realized it was because the sample they had or the one they had on display must have been sitting there forever because it didn't smell anything like this one does it's really amazing because it was just super super hydrating and moisturizing for your hair if like i want something that's gonna just shower me with moisture make my hair super smooth detangle this is definitely what i go for it's hands down my favorite like shampoo to do all those things um but if i want more volume it's not the one i would go to this isn't really like volume this is definitely moisture detangle smooth out your hair help with frizz as well so great for the winter time it's one that i definitely like to usually repurchase in the winter time just because you know it's just more dry your hair gets more dry everything's dry so for a sunscreen this is the neutrogena hydra boost spf 30 and this was one that i did use on my face but i mostly used more so on the body because it's an spf 30 as well it's not really as much as like it's not the level that i would want for my skin typically like normally i will go in with an spf 50 for my face on an everyday basis this one was was one that I kind of just threw on or tucked with me in a bag and just kind of reapplied throughout the day it did it smelled actually nice I didn't mind the smell it wasn't very like sunscreeny like typical sunscreeny it didn't have like a very like greasy texture or anything like that it definitely left you glowing though so for my oily gals 
not ideal for the face because it 100% left me feeling quite glowy and I didn't really like that. I felt like I got more oily a little faster after putting this on, but on my body it was great because like my body had a tiny bit of glow. It was beautiful, enjoyed it a lot. Just like I said, it's an SPF 30, so just keep that in mind. And it is hydrating. It does have hyaluronic acid in it, so you can definitely use this and skip your moisturizer altogether if you wanted to. I think if you had normal or dry skin, I think you would actually really enjoy this. So definitely one to give a try if you fit those kind of criteria. This one was a little interesting. <laughs> this is the Instant Magic Facial Dry Sheet Mask. And this is from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is definitely a more bougie-like experience. But this was really, really weird. So it hydrates, visibly smooth, brightens, lifts, and reduces the appearance of wrinkles. It, the way you have to put it on your face, though, is so strange. It's one of those ones you hook on your ears. And I always find that to be weird. Um, it, like, is literally a sheet. Really cute sheet, though. It has, like, their Charlotte Tilbury, like, logo all over it. Let me see if I can switch it around probably see it a little better here yeah it has their logo everywhere it literally looks like a ski mask though you fully look like jason in this except it says you know their logo all over it and then you hook it around your ears and it's a weird experience though because it's a dry sheet mask and i'm not used to that so i personally didn't end up loving it just again because i'm not used to this kind of experience and i prefer a wet sheet mask that being said, did it hydrate? I guess so. I don't know if I really noticed that much of a difference. You can use this up to three times, and I did use it three times to really give it a good try, but I really don't think I'm gonna repurchase that. Another kind of mask type product, this is from Dr. Zeon times Murad. So Murad basically did a collab with this doctor called Dr. Zeon. I believe that's, I'm hoping that's how you say the name. It's a treat kind of under eye retinol use renewing eye, eye mask. And I did not like this. Uh, it was super difficult to actually get the mask out. It had this like three step process of removing these different things. It ended up being complicated and messy. It wasn't like easy to use. It slipped down a lot, uh, and I just didn't feel like it really did it made a huge difference for the price, especially. This was very pricey. I really didn't feel like I saw a difference. I really didn't even feel that hydrated, and I went through this very, very fast, very fast, because you only get a few masks in here. So, I know it's like technically like supposed to be incredible. Like I said, like I really was excited about it. It's supposed to not slip, even though it, it did slip a little bit. It's all about honestly how you position it and making sure it really is like well positioned. But like I said, it's just not one that for the price I see myself ever repurchasing. I'd rather go and purchase other products instead. Oh, this was a Korean product. So this is the Simple Calming Toner from Scenic, I believe is how you say it. And this one has a very, very low kind of acid to it. Uh, very, very low. It's like mildly acidic. So it just helps kind of turn over the skin a little bit. It helps with like congestion, but again, in a very, very gentle way. And the consistency of it was like legit water. Like it looked like water. It felt like water when you poured it out. It was super watery. You got a nice size though, which was wonderful. I didn't love this though. It just didn't do enough for me. I just wanted a little more moisture, a little more something something. Didn't really seem like it was doing much to help with congestion or pores. So pass, wouldn't repurchase, that's for sure. But if you are curious where I got that from, it, I did get it through the Style Vana Korean website and I do have a coupon for them. If you wanted to save, I think it's like 10 to 15% off. It depends on the products, but I will insert that down in the description below. I wanted to quickly touch on this product here. This is the Chris Appleton Plus Color Wow Money Hair Mask. And first of all, the packaging, super cute. I love the blue. It's super, super like, just like nice and aesthetic to look at. This smelled delicious. Like, oh my God, it literally smells like a salon, but it's super fresh and like, it almost feels like you're like in the ocean and while still smelling like a salon and like super fragranced, this just left my hair smelling incredible. So if you're somebody that's really like all about scents, you really like scented products for your hair, 
I would get this just for that alone. That being said though, the actual mask was nice. It was hydrating. I just felt like I went through it ridiculously fast. I needed so much to truly saturate my hair and feel like I did get all my hair. So I, I finished it like ridiculously fast and it's it's expensive. So I'm not gonna be repurchasing it for that reason. I feel like I'd rather go and get like, for example, the Cure hair mask from Amika because that one just goes a longer way. It's a thicker consistency. I feel like it applies better and it also smells good. Not as good as this. N nothing I've smelled smells as good as this, but at the same time, that one lasts me a lot longer. It actually, I feel like hydration wise i feel like it does a better job oh my god i have so many hair products it's insane i have another hair product right here this is the k18 peptide prep detox shampoo this is actually my second bottle now i'm also going to purchase the third bottle i really really enjoy this this actually has i believe it's salicylic acid but let me read the back for you guys this is the it says this detox is primed for cleanup duty Powered by an optimized list of intentional ingredients, this clarifying cleanser works to exfoliate and clear excess buildup, oil and residue on scalp and hair fibers to promote a healthier environment. Bonus, by removing excess blockage, the hair environment is prepped for if you want to use the KT Molecular Repair, uh, their actual big treatment. It's also pH optimized color. See, this is just really great as a detoxing shampoo. I don't use, I don't, sorry, I don't use... I don't wash my hair as often anymore. During COVID, I really trained my hair so that I'm not washing it every other day. I now wash it like once or twice a week. This has actually been a game changer for me because in the shower, what I'll do is I'll use this as my first step. So I'll wash my hair. I'll really focus on the roots though. This is literally for the roots. I'll focus on it, really massage it in, let it sit after that for like three minutes at least so it has time to do its thing. And then from there, I'll rinse it out. And that just like leaves my scalp so much more clean. I will go after with a second shampoo step. I usually use like a volumizing shampoo or this day one and like it's heaven okay you guys we have about 10 minutes and then i gotta get going it's my brother's birthday today so we are celebrating and treating him and everything he's turning 17 by the way so i really need to wrap this baby up let's go ahead and talk about just a few other products so uh from skin fix i loved this off the bat this was my second one and this is their resurface aha bha niacinamide exfoliating pads this is incredible it has basically your AHA step to exfoliate the surface level of your skin. Then it has your BHA step to exfoliate within the pore. So again, helps with acne, helps with like clogged pores, all that. Uh, and then it has niacinamide, which helps balance your skin. It helps with your oil production. It also helps hydrate. And then it has some other lovely ingredients as well that kind of help with hydration so that your skin isn't too irritated from this product. But this is incredible if you're looking for a highly effective exfoliating product and they're, they're little pads normally in here i finished all of them but they're little pads and they're single use you just swipe them all over it's incredible it's definitely one that you need to be experienced to be able to use and have used you know expo ex chemical exfoliating products before but if you have and you're looking for something to like level up with i loved this love this uh it is more pricey but highly recommend totally worth it and the one that actually i was debating getting instead was this one right here which is the dr dennis gross their alpha beta extra strength daily peel and i was debating getting this because i was like which one you know they're very similar this one's just more expensive and i actually did do a comparison a little uh short on this but i ended up preferring this product because i felt like the pads itself were more gentle first of all i felt like this one was kind of abrasive and this one also made my skin burn a lot more my skin didn't tolerate it as well so even though it's nice that you get a retinol step here too i personally have retinol that i use anyways and i don't like to use it in conjunction with my aha bha because it's kind of a lot for my skin to handle so I ended up going with this. I still end up, I ended up preferring this overall and I have no regrets. That's just my honest opinion, my review. If you, I know a lot of people swear by the Dr. Dennis Gross ones, but my skin just didn't tolerate it well enough. For a cleanser, this is the Burst Wash It Out Gel Cleanser. It has ceramides and rose water. It's a gentle, mildly foaming cleanser. It's very like a jelly consistency. I have some pictures on Instagram. I'll make sure to insert for you guys so you can kind of see the consistency a little bit more. I'll try to do that with any other products where I actually have pictures of them. This one was lovely. 
totally enjoyed it. The only thing I hate is the size. It's super small. You definitely want a bigger size than this. I hope they come out with a bigger size if they haven't already. But it's a lovely, lovely cleanser. They're free of so many different things. I love the brand. I've worked with them before. I just enjoy their products. And I would definitely repurchase this again 100%. All right. For a cream that I wasn't that crazy about, this is also a Korean product. It's from Hamish. And I also purchased this on Salvana. It's the Marine Care Deep Moisture Nourishing Melting Cream. And I actually couldn't use this on my face. It was way, way too thick. Like, and I mean thick. And it was also fragranced and I didn't like the fragrance. So I ended up using the whole tub on my neck every single night i just put it on my neck and it was really really great for the neck area really hydrating so enjoyed using it for that purpose but i wouldn't repurchase again just to use it on my neck i would definitely purchase probably something else that actually has some retinol or different things like that to actually help with anti-aging as well as hydration for another <laughs> face wash or face product this is the uh, inky list fulvic acid brightening cleanser helps brighten skin and gently remove makeup i did enjoy this it is mildly 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 like kind of gonna help with like breakouts and this and that but i feel like a cleanser is on your skin for such a short period of time it can't really make that big of an impact and that's how i felt about this as well i did enjoy it though i liked the foaming effect i liked the feel of it it's a little more stripping than this one i would say it's definitely more intense and it can remove more makeup but out of the two i would still repurchase this one again i just like this a little bit more it was just a little more gentle and that kind of fit into my routine a little better and my skin just seemed to like the first one a little bit more even though like i said the inky list one was nice also from Verst, this is their day maker micro crystal exfoliator it has micro crystalline plus berry leaf extract it's a physical exfoliator that actually has little tiny 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 beads again i'll insert any pictures or anything like that that i have to show you the texture but i really liked this it was really nice it was gentle but still effective it still helped like actually get rid of dead skin it helped still helped exfoliate the skin it was just a nice like two times a week kind of treatment and i would repurchase this again it was definitely one i enjoyed and again it was super super gentle it's not like it's going to be something that's super rough and it's going to like hurt your skin or like create little tears in your skin i remember like that was a whole thing for a while this is not like that it's very very gentle you're not going to have any issues like that and if you like physical exfoliators and you want to try a new one one I would definitely recommend. From NYX, I have the Stick It Thicket Eyebrow Thickening Brow Mascara. Uh, this is one that I finished and I immediately repurchased. The color that I have is taupe and I really did like it. The only thing I didn't, oh, I can't even open it for you. The only thing I didn't like was the applicator. I wish it was a little smaller. It's quite large and in charge, so that's the only downside to it. But other than that, it's a good product. It actually does a great job at literally thickening your brow and sticking it and gluing it kind of down a little bit. So it like tames it, but also, you know, gives you fluff, adds eyebrow fibers, gives you color. One I would definitely try out. It was nice. And like I said, I already repurchased it. All right, we're going to stop it here. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching today's video. We still have more products to go, unfortunately, but also fortunately, because that means that we're going to be doing another empties video, and I love these. They're my favorite, so I can't wait to film that for you guys, and with that, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it today.